We're dumping Clark Man off for a couple days. He's gone. Also, the dog. Partially kidding, partially not kidding, because Cody and I are going to Cedar Point, which is a roller coaster park in Ohio, and it's a little too much for the Clark Man. That's if mom can leave him. I don't know if it's going to happen. Do you have any clothes? Uh, Just the they're essentials. At the, they're at the very bottom. See, I got swim trunks, I got goggles, got a pullback car. Especially the Vegas one. Clark's already at it. He doesn't even realize we're leaving. Oh. Mm, I love you, guys. Love you, buddy. You have fun. Dinner tomorrow. You guys meet kids again. It's our first like date out yeah. without the Clark man. It really yes, is. Yes, first yes, one yes, ever yes. without Clark. I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Seven years. We've never had a night without him. Oh my gosh. Like, together. Oh my god. You gonna be okay? Oh yeah. It's party time. Great view alert and also. This is how far we're driving, 188 miles. It's now 4 p.m. We got pushed back a little bit, 5.53 thanks to some construction, but we are getting pretty close. We're at a rest stop right now. Gonna stretch our legs among other things and Cody's trying to find a place for us to eat tonight that's gonna be spectacular. Huh? <laughs> no okay. pressure. Murphy's Bistro and Pub is 12 minutes from our hotel. I'm down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the guy laughed at me. A little embarrassing. <laughs> he can relate to it, I'm sure. Yeah, I think everybody looks like Two hours to go. Next time you see us, we'll be in El Rio, Ohio. I don't think that's how you say it. How do you say it? I'm going to say El Rio. El Rio, Ohio. El Rio, Ohio. El Rio, El Rio, El Rio. You say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> We're going somewhere mm -hmm. to stay the night and getting some dinner. Ohio. It's now six o'clock. We made it to wherever this town is, and we're having dinner here at Wolf's Bistro Pub. Highly reviewed and rated, supposedly. It's in a strip mall, so we'll have to see. Thank you. Check this place out. We're kind of tucked away back here. Here's the menu, and I bet it's double sided too, isn't it? Holy. TT's COVID punch. TT's COVID punch. I thought you said COVID. I'm like, I don't <laughs> want to drink it says COVID, but yeah, yeah. it is tasty though. Mm -hmm. Even with that name. They should do a Corona COVID <laughs> punch. <laughs> we got the uh, soft pretzels and dip for appetizer. Oh. How is it? cheese sauce. I haven't tried the cheese sauce yet. It has a nice spice to it. it? It's got RIP <laughs> to our pretzels. I just want to show this. Listen. Listen. An empty stomach. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, you this is a chimichanga. And uh, after eating all that pretzel, I don't even know. But it, it looks good. Before we get to that, though, steak salad. Keeping it healthy somewhat. Mine, I don't know if it's healthy or not. Look at that. I'm gonna try to eat this thing. I don't know if this is even possible. I pretty much filled up on pretzel. And now I'm like, I can I could leave right now and be full. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do this. We tapped out. Remember that part where I said we tapped out? <laughs> We're sharing a little cake. Tapping back in. Tap it in. Tag team going at it. Oh lord. Wow. That's darn good. Two seconds later. I didn't take long. Very cream cheesy. Oh yeah, we're practicing for our food review channel. Very cream cheesy, very uh, sweet and delicious. So this is the same town we stayed in last time that we were here. And as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's like all abandoned. Everything's abandoned out here. But there is a brand new Marriott that's out here. This definitely isn't it. <laughs> and we stayed at this Hampton Inn out here that was, it was awful. Made me decide that I was never staying at a Hampton Inn again. But it's just, are you, are you sure it's this, going to the right place? This is Days Inn. There's, there's the Hampton Inn. Oh my God. There. The Days Inn doesn't even have a sign on it anymore. They, they took the days off of it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I, I think we're going to get robbed here. <laughs> is this really where we're, do you have the right thing in there? Yeah, it's behind it. Okay. Oh my God. Look at the road out here. <laughs> this is, oh, this is oh, sketch. Why are we here? <laughs> this is, we, we should have learned our lesson three years ago. We stayed at this exact place. It's really sketchy. Okay, a little bit. Welcome to El Raya or El Ria. This is, this is what the town is. El Ria. El Ria. 
I feel somewhat confident about this place though versus the Hampton Inn. Because we stayed at one of these in Lancaster and it was nice. We have arrived. 7.27 p.m. How are we? Uh, how are I, uh, Maybe we can ask at the front desk. So how do you say this town? They should call it Gateway to Cedar Point. <laughs> Would be a good title for it. This whole video is just us guessing what this town is that we've been trying to drive to all day. I like that. Very nice. Let's see our, our view. Is it Oceanside? No ocean to see, babe. Do see a toll booth. We do have the king size, which I guess is an upgrade apparently. And the bathroom is here. Bathroom smells amazing. Here's the tub. All very clean. This place was built, I think, within the last year. So everything is new and nice and, and lovely. This is where we'll be spending the night tonight. And then tomorrow, going to Cedar Point yes. to ride a bunch of roller coasters. So we'll see you, uh, see you there. It's next morning, as you can tell. We actually make the bed before we go. <laughs> They're just gonna rip all this off. Bye, show and tell. <laughs> We're going through Clark withdrawal. Yeah, we need like a nanny or a governess to Take them over to the kitty section while we go. Wow. Do the roller coasters. Wow. <laughs> Do I sound posh? <laughs> a little bit. Look at that. Yeah, Somebody's just like. Pfft. Gross. Just checking okay. out. Okay, yeah. how was your night, folks? Excellent. Okay, thanks thank for you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. We got a nice day, at least for now. Yeah. It's supposed it to change way. over like at like one o'clock. We're supposed to get like. I did the hour by hour on the Weather Channel app, and it said three. Three. We oh, might have like five hours of just epic darkness. If I've ever learned anything over the years, it's really don't trust the Weather Channel app, although I continue to look at it all the time and believe them. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just go with what we see, and what we see is sunny. I'm going to put sneakers on so I don't lose my flip flop on some type of crazy flip today. You would. I would. They have a job. It's like flip flop recovery, man. This is what you want to see when we were coming here. Watch out, little bird. Dude. That's cool. There's a train behind that one, too. Oh, wow. Our entire day is going to be within that area right there. Oh, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> yeah, let's take that $23 parking fee and put some new asphalt out here. Look at this place. The day I've been looking forward to for so long is finally here and I'm right here. Let's go to Cedar Point. <laughs> Made it in the park and now we're going to get our fast lane bracelets so we don't have to wait in line all day. This is giving me Disney vibes all over again. I know. I kind of love it. Feels like Magic Kingdom without the castle being back here. Just got our wristbands and the worst news of the day. Maverick, my number one coaster that I wanted to ride, down for the day. Sadness falls upon me. Steel Vengeance twice now. We'll have to do that. It's two minutes until they officially open. We're gonna skip all of this and we're gonna go back to my number one ride after Maverick that we didn't get to ride today. We're gonna go do Steel Vengeance as my very first thing. So the line isn't too crazy. At least I hope not. Yeah. That's Val Raven. They sit you up there and they make you look down over for a second and then they're like whoosh. They drop you. Oh, there they go. Oh my gosh. You think you'll survive it? diner. I think that's Millennium Force right there. Oh my gosh. And they're gone. We're still on our walking grind back to Steel Vengeance and I just want to show Frontier Town off here with their lovely music. That now just ended. Look at these dudes. Hello there. It's like so nice and quiet and peaceful. And then you just have like this drop. That's awesome. Really weird turn of events here. I looked at the app and Steel Vengeance is down, but Maverick was just running and says that there's a wait. So I'm so confused. Is Maverick down or is Steel Vengeance down? 
The earliest we'll be opening today will be in a couple hours at the very earliest. Okay. And I cannot guarantee that we will be open then. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience. Just when my hope came back, it got crushed again. This is Steel Vengeance here, which is also showing down. So we'll have to see what happens over here. <laughs> We're having a terrible run here. My two favorites, I'm like, let's speed run. Let's get these done and then, no. Walk all the way back here. Got all that exercise in, burn all those calories for nothing. We'll go write some other stuff. We get back and it's like our redemption music. We're gonna move on to Magnum XL 200. A fitting way to start your day, I think. And there's some shade too, which is wonderful. Our fast lane didn't do anything for us here because we just got put right in the line where everyone else is already waiting because there's such a short wait. Your glasses, your keys, your wallets. Anything you don't wanna lose, you'll secure them. So if you don't wanna lose your glasses, secure her first and you last. That was a ride where we just realized how terrifying roller coasters are. She's like, I don't wanna ride any more coasters. Oh. oh my god. That was like an easy one too. Holy. I liked it once we got down off that and I was no longer terrified. But uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was something. I would do it again. Next closest ride, Rougarou. You up for that? Wild. I did a bunch of research last night on all these coasters and apparently this is supposed to be themed like the Louisiana Bayou and Rougarou means werewolf in French. Woo! Rougarou, actually pretty awesome. Wasn't uh, nearly as jerky. Come on now. Wasn't as jerky as Magnum XL 200 or whatever it is, but it was good. Review? Oh, that was a lot of fun. Nice and smooth. I had to put my hat down my shirt, which was not like great, but it was cool. <laughs> We've been here for a little over an hour now. So we got two rides in, lots of walking, kind of wasting time, unfortunately. But overall, I think we're making good time. Now Raven, right there. Everything in my mind right now is telling me to not do this. But then I go and tell Clark man that he needs to do things and try things and get over his fear. And I know that's all it is, is the fear of that drop that they're about to go on right now. And they just sit you up there, just waiting for it. And then they drop you. Oh my God. The next victims. Oh, that's awful. Is it too late to turn around? Easily my favorite coaster that we've been on so far. The drop wasn't that bad because we were in the back and we didn't have to sit there and look down like this. It was just like us just sitting there. So that wasn't so bad. If we were in the front, I think I would have probably passed out because that was, that was ridiculous. But yeah, that was number one. Steel Vengeance still down, Maverick still down. As far as wait times go, I would say we waited no longer than five minutes for a ride. Yeah, five or ten minutes. Not bad at all. Like last time we are here was like an hour. Here's what we're about to get on. This is called Raptor. Easy. I don't like the corpse food. Oh, that's fun. I like that real slow roll they put us on in Battle Raven. That was great. Here's the line that we're in. That's the other line over there. That was intense, to say the least. We got to sit in the front, which was awesome, but man, that like, that made me sick, like a little nauseous. It, she's totally destroyed, just wrecked. I loved it. It was the most intense ride, surprisingly, but it was good. I just. And if I'd eaten something, I don't think it would have turned out well. Yeah. So right there. <laughs> misery, misery. It was good. Quit being a big baby. There's a time in my life I would have just, that would have been epic. But now you're old. No, Let's just go ride the train and sit and people watch. I came here for the food. <laughs> Stomping at the most essential place if you're getting a snack. And the end. It just had to happen. Plus, she's almost dead, so we're gonna get something to eat and a drink. 7.29.
crazy. As we enjoy our Cedar Point Annie Ann's and Coke, let's watch these people completely lose it up here. There they go. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. After any ends, we're going down to Gatekeeper, which I guess I'm riding solo. She's tapping out. Maybe for the whole day. I don't know. I'm telling you, that last one wrecked me. You need a little recovery time. Yeah, so I'll ride Gatekeeper by myself. I'll die almost and keep you alive. Let me see what Gatekeeper looks like. It, that's it right there. It's, it does like spins and flips and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, no thanks. See? That's what you can expect from Gatekeeper. There it goes. One. The gatekeeper. I definitely love this one. Every time I get off a ride, I feel like it's my favorite one. But uh, I think Cody would have probably uh, would have lost it on that one. I don't think I have the guts for that. But I do have the guts for Sprite that is um, what appears to be pink colored. So Steel Vengeance is alive, eh? 60 minute wait. That's what it said on the app. I'm, I'm down. Millennium Force, Steel Vengeance, and Gemini. There are three coasters left that we still have yet to ride. So I'm hoping to be able to get all three of those done here without a ton of wait time. The wait times are creeping up kind of high. So we'll see what we can get into. Are you gonna ride? Not sure yet. Let's go to Steel Vengeance and you can, mm -hmm. you can see. Check this view out. This may be my favorite point at Cedar Point part of Cedar Point. <laughs> it's my favorite point of Cedar Point. It's a miracle. Steel Vengeance is rolling. That had to be the best roller coaster I've ever been on in my entire life. It was so crazy going through these barrel rolls. The only thing that holds you down is your lap bar. So it's just your lap and your arms are free. There's nothing to hold on to. So it's such a different feeling of going through like all this roughness, but then not having anything like securing your upper body. So weird and crazy, but I, top roller coaster I've ever been on in my life. Right there, Steel Vengeance. You are so lucky you didn't go on that. It was awesome. If that was the first we went on today, I think I would have like, I would have been a little was too much. Even worse than the Raptor? Oh my, God. well, not in terms of like going back and forth, but it was intense and there's nothing to hold on to. So you're just buckling in with your legs and you're just like dangling there. It was crazy. Going to Gemini and I got a ride partner this time. Scratch that. They're doing maintenance on Gemini. So we're not riding this one either. To Millennium Force. Looks like you're riding that one now. Yep. Looks like we might have a storm coming in too. We got to get on before the thunder hits and they shut the rides down. The weather was right today though, they said. Like two or three o'clock in the afternoon, we should start experiencing some rain. It's going to shut down for the next few hours. So there's going to be strong winds, possible hail damage, thunderstorms all through until like six or seven o'clock tonight. Oh, <laughs> all of the food places are going to be crazy right now because no one has anything to do. Yeah, so you better get there while we can. Chick fil A line looks like it's out the door and out the sidewalk. I like chicken sandwiches this much. I hate waiting in lines this much. No, so being like that's done. to eat here. You could choose something else. So good. Got custard. And she's convinced me to go stay in the Chick-fil-A line. It didn't take a whole lot of convincing, but a little oh, bit. No, you really wanted it. I do love Chick-fil-A and I never get to go there. This is, oh, this is lovely. Take some. That is like the richest, thickest, delicious, creamiest, <laughs> Delicious. Oh. We're about to get dumped on. Chick fil A lemonade. Incredible. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, And I'm just like. That's crazy. Are you getting wet back here? <laughs> Oh my god. They got a selfie out there. <laughs> oh, now you're wet. Come on. It's definitely one of those experiences that we're not going to forget about. It's good chicken, though, eh? Very good. 
That was an enjoyable meal and a show. Rain's lighting up finally. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's still, it's showing for a bit. Let's see how fast we can get out of Cedar Point. These are the moments that make experiences like this totally worth it, right? Yeah. Like, it was an awesome day at Cedar Point because we not only got to ride great coasters, but we also got to experience this awesome storm that hit. You gotta make lemonade out of your lemons, babe. That's what you gotta do. Okay, dear. <laughs> Come on, Maverick. Next time. One last stop. So this is chocolate and peanut butter. That sounds amazing. That right there. Milk peanut cluster. The rain won't stop us from enjoying some sweets. Will that even make it to the parking lot? That's the question. <laughs> Oh my God. For real? We're gonna go out down here. There's a chance that our car might not be underwater. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> now we gotta drive home for five hours. <laughs> Sad. Sadness. Darkness is <sighs> We, do see, we get to see Clark Man, though. I know. I can't wait to see him. I said that I would end this video with us eating chocolate. And she's like, no. I'm like, you know it'll happen. I know. I had that ice cream cone. I, this wasn't even on my mind. And then, you know, I put it in the back. And now all of a sudden, it's got to come out. And here we are mm -hmm. having this. It wasn't supposed to be me. It was supposed to be you. Yep, you. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Chocolate. Peanuts. Deliciousness. Mm. All right, let's go. What about you? I'm good, actually. <laughs> I turn this off. You're gonna eat it. This I know you're gonna do it. Okay, camera's off. I'll just put this over here. <laughs> Look at that guy. You want another piece? No, go ahead. Before I put it back there. Go ahead. There. We're finally done. <laughs> We've done Cedar Point. It's been raining the whole time we've been driving. 6.30, we stopped at McDonald's, got a nice coffee, waiting on some fries, and we're trying to get home, which is gonna happen dang near 10 o'clock now. We got our essential supplies. We're back on the road again. We're in Pennsylvania. Finally out of the rain. And there's actual blue sky up there. 10.15. We're finally here to pick up the Clark, man. Hey, buddy. Did you have fun with your yammy? <laughs> he you want to stay for another day? <laughs> wow. He's, he's sad. You didn't even miss us? Wow. Very. Oh, he's like crying. <laughs> you can come back and stay I again, know. babe. You love your yammy, don't you? You can come back and <laughs> stay again. You can keep him. Every time he's getting on your nerves, just bring him up here and drop him off. I'll shake him up. Oh, yeah. Are you going to play with that the way home? Yeah. All right. Clark, man, can I have a hug, please? Go get that pap a hug. I love you so much. I love you. Thank you. Anytime. He's welcome anytime. All right, love you much. Thank you again. Bye. That was our trip. <laughs>